In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your Windows 11 Start Menu and Taskbar look like the old classic Windows 7 or Windows 10 Start Menu and Taskbar. So, let's get started. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is hand on to the link in the description that will take you to this website right here. That is introducing Start All Back. Here, as you can see, we've got the website right here. Here, all you gotta do is click on the download button right here, download 3.1.2. And here, as you can see, it's not downloading onto my computer, you just have to wait for it to completely download. As soon as it's done downloading, open up File Explorer on your computer. And then just open up the downloads folder. Here, as you can see, we've got the setup right here, start all back 3.1.2. Just double click on the setup. And here, if you want to install Start All Back only on the user you're right now in, you can just select Install from me. But if you want to install the software on all the users available on your computer, you can select this one right here. I'm going to select Install for me. And I just have to wait for it to completely install. Here, as you can see, our taskbar has shrinked in size. Just minimize all the windows on your computer. And here, as you can see, you've got a new window right here that is Start All Back Configurator. And we've got three options right here, the proper 11, we've got the kinda 10, and then we've got the remastered 7. If I select proper 11, now if I open up the start menu, here as you can see we've got this proper Windows 11 start menu theme right here. If I select kinda 10, now if I open up my start menu, here as you can see the icon has changed right here. And we've got this tiled start menu, and we've got this tiled taskbar here as well. If I select remastered 7, then as you can see we've got the Windows 7 start button right here. We've got the Windows 7 style taskbar right here. And if I open up the start menu, here as you can see, this is how our Windows 11 style menu looks like. Windows 7 style menu looks like you could, you could even increase the size right here, which you couldn't do on Windows 11. Let's go back in here. We've got the start menu option right here where you can just select use large icons and all those really cool um, other stuff you want. In the taskbar menu here, as you can see, we can change the icon to anything you want. You can select this icon right here or this whatever you want. Let me go back to welcome and then select kind of 10. And let me go to taskbar and then select the visual style to default. Now here as you can see we've got the default visual style right here. Let me check this box. Now it, now it has centered the task icons right here. If I open up my start menu here as you can see this is how my start menu looks like. Let me go back to welcome and then select proper 11. And then go back in to taskbar. And then change the icon to this icon right here. Now if I open up here, as you can see, we've got this really cool star menu right here, which is pretty small and neat. We've got our small taskbar here as well, which is pretty cool. Our search bar on the other hand is the default one. But the thing is that our star menu and, all the and the taskbar has changed completely. Now one final thing is we've got the about tab right here. Now one caveat is that start all back is not a free software. It's a paid software. Here as you can see, We've got a 30 day free trial so we've got 30 days for you to come to use the software for free after that you'll just have to pay for the license activation by purchasing and then you'll get a license key which you'll have to enter and then you just have to click on buy and you can just buy the software and then you can use it forever and yeah that's pretty much how you can make your windows 11 start start menu and taskbar look like the classic old windows 10 and windows 11 start menu and taskbar if you find this video helpful make sure to give this video a like and share with a friend and if you have any questions, you can put them down in the comment section below. And please hit the subscribe button to support me. Till then, see you later. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.